at BCX last year, but still an extremely dominant land player. Now in the loser's bracket, we have Atrophius versus Lil Capped, and then Wrench versus Phazon. I think these players are ready to get into it. You're seeing yep. Noel and Koslix right in front of you. Koslix on your left. Noel in that Space Station jersey on your right. Koslix, of course, playing under Bourne. He was just recently signed, I think in the past couple months, probably preemptively before DreamHack Austin. Oh, but right, we're getting right into this match. Noel and Asuri against Koslix, Roland, and Noel already finding the first weapon with Guitars, hitting him out with three neutral lights in a row. Koslix is trying to get back on the stage to find a signature weapon. Koslix, the only player in this top eight to really feature the Lance, as he's going in with a string already, goes for a hard ne neutral sign read, gets hit by that D-Light, but he's going in into this fight right away. Noel on the side of the stage, and Koslix is doing a great job of holding on to center stage. And Koslix is doing the exact thing we've seen him do time and time again. You're seeing that back dash, forward dash, back dash. Right. He'll go in with the side lights. He'll also follow up off of a lot of his light attack hits with the neutral Ooh. sig like we saw earlier or the down sig like we just saw. The neutral sig covering the air option, the down sig covering if his opponent mix up dodges and goes down. You see that all of those dashes coming in. I think those weapon tosses from Noel are going to be key to dealing with Koslix so far. Now, the hardest thing about dealing with Koslix is that so you can't stay on the ledge too long, Brawlhall. There's a wall slip mechanic. So you can hold, hold on to it for so long before you have to touch and get back on. And Koslix does a great job of holding center and trying to catch his opponents as they land. But Noel reading that fall down, gets that down stick, sends Koslix off the stage. He has a recovery. He could possibly stare back, but that oh! deal, the D light ground pound does not connect. And Koslix manages to recover. That should have been a stock for Noel, but instead we're back to even. And Noel is now the one trying to recover. Koslix is not correctly punished, has the lance, is trying to look for maybe a side light recovery. Instead, finds a neutral light, sends Noel off the side of the stage, and he's recovering with the sword now. Dangerously goes off stage and Noel manages to disarm him with a sword side air. Recovery barely doesn't kill. Both of these players are really close to losing their first stop. The blast zone is really high on Shipwreck. That's why you're going to see Noel go for the D-Light side air. The side blast zones are going to be a little bit closer, so that sword combo might kill a little bit earlier. Oh, He's man. just going to hit the D-Light there. He finds the recovery. I think he was waiting to get the dodge on the first downlight that he right. threw out, so then he could punish with the recovery and get it guaranteed. He hit the second one, didn't want to wait any longer, took the kill. That's the first stock gone of this top eight, going in favor of Space Station Gaming's Noel. Noel doing a great job with that weapon toss to stuff out that attempt at a side light combo. He finds a side air, but the oh. downer is really risky. He's finding himself off stage. And, oh, the recovery from the lands. Doubles up as a move that you can kill with. Hits Noel. Noel has no opportunity to be able to recover from that. He took way too much damage. We're back to even. Two stocks to two. Now, if you aren't super familiar with this game, what just happened when Noel ended up hitting Koselix, you can get a speed dodge on hit, which will cover more ground and give you more iframes. So when you hit your opponent, you're able to chase dodge in a direction and get back to the stage. That side air, he tried to chain it into a down sig and doesn't quite find that hit. Noel, now he's doing a great job of throwing his weapon in, but oh, that ground pound reads him going to the side of the stage. Noel thought he was safe, but he chased dodge forward, was able to find that ground pound and get that KO super early. Koslix is only in the orange. He's barely taken any damage in comparison to Noel, which is now on his last stock in this game, number one. And an excellent side light, side air. Koslix putting on so much damage with these lance hits. Noel is trying to find a signature, but he's just, he, he, it's almost even in damage and he's down a full stock. Not only that, but Koslix is playing Roland, a player, a character with really, really high defense. It's going to be so difficult to kill this character without something like a signature. And even with that, it's going to be difficult. And he has the Lance, which means he has so much in-air movement options using the side air instead of one of his jumps or air dodges. The slide Ow. charge down signature right over the edge, dashing to get that movement, holding that down signature until he's right there, and then stabbing Noel in the heart with it, taking that game. Koselix achieving, I think, what he's really never achieved before this season right here. I mean, that was a dominant appearance Absolutely. against Noel there. And he was utilizing so many mix-ups on the stage. So it, it, it's kind of frightening, I think, seeing Koselix, because sometimes he won't move from the ledge at all, just dashing back and forth, sort of like Brawlhall's version of a, of a dash dance. But he, he, sometimes he'll just go off stage and immediately use these powerful signatures to take out his opponents in, in, in the blink of an eye. Noel's not even being able to react yet. He's actually switched over to Koji, but no, these land strings are connecting. The neutral stick hits, and Noel bam, barely manages to recover underneath that down stick from Koselix, but he's already in the orange on this legend switch. Downlight into the neutral light. Another downlight into the neutral light. Noel trying to pace things out, but the consistency of damage from Koselix, big punish by Noel, huge weapon force toss. on that ground pound, throwing that weapon to interrupt the charge time of Koselix's Lance recovery. It has a really long charge time that will shoot you extremely far, but it can get red out like that. And the bow ground pound is so excellent being able to punish people, even at low percent. Koselix was barely near being able to get KO'd there, but because the, gro the bow ground pound hit him at such a low spot, he wasn't able to make it back. Weapon toss stopped the recovery, and now Noel has a solid lead in what was looking like Koslix's game on that first stop. He has to be careful though. Koslix has Noel and kill percent. That unarmed recovery is going to send Noel off screen off the top. 
Side, side air, air sends him flying. Noel has a chance to recover, but Shipwreck is so difficult. Gets oh, that dodge, oh. barely touches the wall. Shipwreck has some of the like the smallest walls in the in the one v one map pool, but Noel manages to make it happen. Silent recovery, however, takes the kill. It's one of the few confirmed combos on Lance side. Yes. side. I mean, you could do a lot out of Lance side light, but when you have your opponent at a high percent, that's what you're going to be wanting to do to feel comfortable to be able to get those KOs and even enough two to two. Noel now going back into neutral against Costlix misses out on that falling side air, and Costlix gets that bread and butter. He loves going for that neutral sig after he gets those low percent side light combos, and he's putting on so much damage. Noel finding that delight Sair gets hit out by Costlix's returning Sair, but both players are just whacking each other back and forth. Noel slightly in the lead with the damage, but once he's on the side of the stage, anything can happen. That lead is getting smaller and smaller. Every second, another side air from Koslix. Are we going to see the dash jump? Ground pound. Noel's going to get back on the platform, recovering high. The falling nair is going to send Koslix up. He tries to read with the neutral signature, tries to read with the side signature. Koslix getting through it. That lead is getting ever, ever smaller. All right, he's got a chance on the stage. Will he go for a ground pound? Will he go for a charge signature? No, Noel just comes back. He doesn't even go for a neutral air to punish Noel being in the sky. Koslix constantly playing these mind games with his footsies. Looking for a ne nice neutral air, maybe a side air. He needs to put Noel into a little bit more damage before he can rely on a nice combo, but a nice gravity cancel side light. Noel, before landing, utilizing that dodge, if you use a move, during your dodge input, you can do a gravity cancel, which allows you to use a grounded move in the air. And sometimes it's a great mix-up, even with light attacks, to be able to throw your opponents off guard and put them in a position like that, where you can get a D-Light recovery and take the stock. Noel with an excellent gravity cancel D-Light and recovery for the kill. Now you've seen Kostelix on the ground with the dashes back and forth. You've seen him initiating with the down airs from the air. By using that jump gravity cancel down light, he was able to pluck up Kostelix if he was grounded or if he was just off the ground as well enabling him to get that combo and get the kill, but it's going to be the side light side air. Noel's going to have some in-air movement options. Recovering high, tries to go down on top of Kostelix, the recovery. That is going to be all but the stock. He's going to be able to recover high, getting completely over Kostelix. I'm surprised we didn't see any weapon tosses there from Kostelix. Kostelix playing really safe right now, though. He knows he's behind. He doesn't want to disarm himself if he doesn't have to. He doesn't want to give Noel any wiggle room unless he absolutely has to. There's the kill combo from Kostelix. We've seen multiple kill options from him so far. We saw the side charge down signature. We've seen other signatures from him. We also saw the side light recovery that Even we the just pound. saw. We also saw the ground pound as an edge guard tool. So Ooh. he's able to effectively find the kill That's options the again. Third time. Side light dare into the neutral signature, reading the dodge up or a possible jump coming out from Noel. Kostelix will sometimes mix that up, but he's been hitting the insect every single time. Look at these footsies. Kostelix is doing nothing, and Noel is so terrified to land, and finally he comes up with these neutral airs, looking for a downer on the way down. It, it feels like Kostelix is constantly controlling the stage while Noel is just trying to find some way to get back onto it, maybe siege control from it, but Kostelix now with this Lance just jumping around, waiting for an opportunity. Will he throw it in there? A side light, something. There's the side light in the air. Noel gets sent off the stage in the kill percent. He's trying to get back onto the stage. No, Koslix has a chance to find a side light to get that cover. Oh, he dodges oh. out of the way of the weapon toss. Punishes him for picking up that weapon. And a oh. nice fall. Oh, that sliding side light, side air to be able to get the KO. Noel wasn't even able to touch the side of the stage. That's a 2-0 lead for Koslix in this best of five. This would be a huge upset for Koslix to take out Noel here. Noel last year was such a consistent player. He had some issues at BCX, the World Championship. But before that, he was one of the most dominant players in online tournaments placing very high in every single one the only question mark is these two have not met each other in an online tournament this year so their kind of history together is untested until now and here we go in the game number three and something I have to mention is that like Lance as a weapon especially somebody who mains Lance it's kind of it's kind of really rare on, yes. bo on both servers oh he gets it again Noel well. uh, has to stop dodging up or jumping up after he gets hit he has to at least attempt to go down. I wonder, we've seen four of those from Kostelix. Noel is putting out some serious damage, keeping it dead even so far. Excellent side stick goes with the weapon toss to maybe stop him from being able to recover that GC down light and try to catch him into an unarmed combo. Noel is waiting for a weapon spawn, something he manages to find his sword, and Kostelix is perfectly fine with holding onto center stage here and looking for some sort of combo starter. Gets the Sarah to catch him out of the air right there, and maybe he's going to go for another. I love it, side light recovery. Doesn't KO, doesn't matter. It's damage, and if he finds two more of those, he might be able to get the KO. Yeah, that's the thing is some players might struggle to kill with that Ooh, because you're that sending punish. them up and left or up and right. That's the farthest you could possibly send your opponent to a blast zone. But the way Kostelix 
Basilix is able to consistently build up the damage, consistently hit it. He's not struggling for kill options whatsoever. It's not taking too long to secure these kills. That's why he has the 2-0 right now in this best of five. That's why he's playing so safe. Even with Sword, he's going to have some serious play as well. He has the kill option. Like the auto combo down light Sair. It's funny because you'd if you've watched Cosplex before, you'll rarely see him pick up any other weapon besides his Lance. But the Sword has options for KOing as well. And it seems that he's perfectly comfortable with it. He's finding these neutral lights. There's a clash right there. Noel trying to find a D-Light himself. He needs to be able to get this KO because he's being sent to Orange here on his second stock. And if he loses this game, he's going to be sent to lose his bracket. GC downlight doesn't connect and Coslix is perfectly fine sparring Noel out here with his own weapon. And that's insane. The overall power ranking for Noel is 10th right now. Coslix is going to come in at 25th. That's kind of a big discrepancy here, but Coslix is going toe-to-toe -to -toe on the same weapon and he's up 2-0 right now in this set. That is so big for Coslix. Nobody plays like him. Stocks are even, however. He's looking for these sidelights, but Noel has an opportunity. He tries to go for weapon toss. It doesn't connect, but he can find that unarmed neutral light to put some damage on. He found a sword, but it's stuffed up. Once again, that, that Lance neutral being able to cover all around and above him is an excellent move to be able to stuff out. Oh, oh. but that downer, he goes for two down, six in a row. Does not quite connect, and Kostelik's holding onto this Lance, tries to go off with the side light, doesn't quite hit him, but Noel is actually managing to even things up right here. Kostelik finds the Sarah. Maybe a silent recovery will be able to do it, but Noel has a chance to be able to possibly take a lead in this, first, this, this third game. The weapon toss from Noel. I think he's going to incorporate those a little bit more. I think he should to uh, try to mitigate the dash dancing that Kostelix is doing. That just kind of back and forth movement, not knowing when he's going to initiate. If he's just going to dash again, that's a nice signature. Weapon the weapon toss. toss going right over his head. Downer. The dare. Limited in air movement options. They are all gone for Kostelix. Noel has the lead here, but it's so small. We've seen Kostelix come back from this in a heartbeat. Noel is in kill percent. It's still great for Noel, though. That's exactly Absolutely. what he needs. He'd rather be coming back from a, a, he, he'd rather have a stock lead than a deficit, in any case. And he finds this nice neutral light, and any damage that he gets here is a victory. He's at kill percent, but he can find a neutral light no matter how small. That means that that's that much less damage he's going to have to do to be able to get that KO and possibly bring it to a game four. He's finding these D-lights. Kostelix isn't on the lance. This is where Noel has an opportunity to punish him for not being comfortable with this weapon. Nice weapon toss in a neutral light. He's trying to find something else as the weapon spawns. Will Noel deny that from Kostelix? No, he manages to pick it up and tossing the guitars into him. He's stopping any of these any of these silent approaches. A weapon toss has that active hurt box. It can interrupt any move that Kostelix throws out, but oh. finds the silent recovery. Now it's evened up one to one. Kostelix has to take one more stock to move on to winner's finals here. Noel definitely doesn't want to make that easy for him. I think Noel was trying to read the dash through there from Kostelix because you saw Noel throw out the neutral light on the left when Kostelix was still on his right. That allowed him to get the side light into the recovery for the kill. The oh. top side of that. Nobody uses that as an anti-air, but Kostelix has so many in-air movement options with this Lance. He's so difficult to kill. Trying to go for that side signature once again. Noel, if he finds him with a signature at the edge of the map, doesn't matter if you're not in red. You can still get those KOs rather early on if you find the game. But that Sarah sends him beneath the stage. The oh, weapon toss stops the recovery. It. That's it. Noel takes game number three and keeps himself alive in his best of five. Excellent job for him switching back to the Assyrian. It looks like that we're going to be having... No, okay. I saw Scarlet hover for a second from Kostelix. That's the other legend that he likes to yeah. play. Uh, in Brawlhalla, there are stat differences depending on the characters here, as you can see on the loading screen. Roland has a much higher defense. It means he can take a higher beating than most other legends. Yes. And Scarlet, another Lance legend, has higher force. That means that he'll be able to get the KOs faster, but he'll also get KO'd faster. And he decides to stick to this character, which he's been having so much success with in this game number four. As we're going into small Brawl Haven, one of the smallest stages in the one we want map pool, very small blast zones, and there's very little to work with. It's, it's basically like a shipwreck with slightly larger walls. Yeah, absolutely. So we might see Noel try to encourage the edge guard play a little bit more. The backside of that neutral signature actually hitting. You're seeing Noel sit on the wall. He definitely has more wiggle room down there, which as a guitar player, which have statistically high offstage success, yes. you might see him retreating over there. Of course, he does have the gravity cancel neutral signature, oh. which has a ton of force on it, has great spiking potential. It'll pluck you out of the air. I'm sure you'll probably see at least one coming out from Noel. But the sidelight recovery, not even going to get a chance to engage Kostelix offstage. The slide charge down sig again. We saw him hit that in game one. We're seeing it again. Noel gave him two swift kicks, but I'd like to mention that Kostelix is doing a great job of following Noel's aerial movements. He's finding these stairs right as he's trying to land, these nares right as he's trying to land, but Noel actually playing around that makes me eat my words. He was watching what Kostelix was doing, saying, okay, you want to stop me from landing? I'm going to wait for your nair, and then he, in the middle of that dodge, canceled it out for that delay to get the recovery kill off the top, and because of where Kostelix was, he was able to kill what I consider wouldn't have been able to kill gravity. And he even things up again, once again, two to two. Weapon toss, stopping out these light attacks, I'm loving what Noel's doing. Just throwing the guitar straight in front of him to be able to get into a neutral light. Kostelix, however, is still managing to make these trades even. Now, I expect to see Noel maybe. Oh, that was oh, a wonderful no. point. Blake, ground pound. 
Finding these D-Lights, waiting out the dodges. Koslix isn't willing to do that, however. Hits him with a nice D-Light off the Lance, but that down sig sends him flying off early, and Noel looking for the D-Light manages the misses. Recovery gets in, and Koslix mixes it up, goes for a Silite Nair that doesn't connect, and he possibly could have gotten more damage with the Recovery. Noel now back trying to get to the center stage. Koslix giving him the same footsies that he normally does. Doesn't find the Sair, and they're back to neutral. Nice Sair. Puts him off stage, oh, and that's another slide charge. Down sick. Koslix on top of Noel. Won't let him touch the wall right after he sends him offwards. And this is looking like it's going to be Koslix's game as he opens up with a sick Lance string. That was a very nice little three piece coming out from Koslix. That signature is going to take off that second stock. Noel still fighting for his tournament life here. Well, for his winner side line. Yes. But he wants to be able to stay on winners as long as possible here. He gets hit by that sideline down or neutral oh. sig. That's the umpteenth time that we've seen that combo. No, oh, my costly. Was that a JV2? It was a JV2. And with all three stocks being taken by the same method. That's something that Noel's gonna want to look again, look into if he manages to fight against Kostelix again through a loser side run, because that those those down sticks, those slide charge down sticks were insane. He was able to get him off of his recovery every time. He always tried to recover low and it never worked. That's definitely one of Roland's most favorable signatures. That's yes. why we see 